friends and families, Jenny here, and we just had such a fun morning of dancing, and we talked about our head, our shoulders, our knees, our ankles, our toes, and I thought since we've been talking about our body, this would be a great book to move into, and it talks about our skeleton, or the bones that help our body stay upright and move and keep us tall and strong, so this book, Dem Bones, is by Bob Barner. And you'll notice that these skeletons are friendly, just like you, because we all have skeletons inside of our body. Our bones are so important. Let's find out a little bit more about bones. And this is also a song, so here we go. Toe bone connected to the foot bone. So find your toe and find your foot. Do you know where your heel bone is? It's at the back of your foot. Toe bone connected to the foot bone. What's the foot bone connected to? Foot bone connected to the ankle bone. Can you find your ankle? Your ankle is where your foot and your lower leg meet. There's your ankle. Our ankle allows our foot to move and flex. Foot bone connected to the ankle bone. What's the ankle bone connected to? The ankle bone connected to the leg bone. And this one here, we actually have two bones there. We also call this our shin. Can you touch your shin? Ooh, it hurts when we bump something on our shin. Ankle bone connected to the leg bone. The leg bone connected to the knee bone. Can you find your knee? Right here is your knee cap. So when you tap your knees and you feel something hard there, that's your knee cap. Leg bone connected to the Knee bone. Let's see what the knee bone is connected to. Knee bone connected to the thigh bone. The thigh bone. So this part of your leg here, your thigh, this is your femur and it's the longest, heaviest bone in your body. So your biggest, heaviest bone is the one between your knee and your hip. So knee bone connected to the thigh bone. Slap those thighs. Let's see what's next. Thigh bone connected to the hip bone. So here's our hip. This is called our pelvis. And if you touch your hips, you'll feel two little hard bones right in front, kind of like headlights here. See if you can find your hip bone. What do we think our hip bone is connected to? Thigh bone connected to the hip bone. Here we go. Hip bone connected to the back bone. Can you reach behind you and feel your spine? That strong bone that goes all the way down your back. You couldn't stand up straight without it. The hip bone connected to the back bone. What's the back bone connected to? Hmm, let's see this area right here. Back bone connected to the shoulder bone. Can you touch your shoulders and feel how parts of it are round and parts of it are a little bit sharper? Back bone connected to the Shoulder bone, what's the shoulder bone connected to? Shoulder bone connected to the neck bone. So here we are. Our neck bone is continuing our backbone or our spine. This area helps our head rotate. So turning your head to look one way and then the other and to nod yes or no and to wiggle your head to the music. Can you wiggle your head? Thank you, neck bone. Shoulder bone connected to the 
neck bone. Let's see what the neck bone is connected to. Do we know what we call this? Neck bone connected to the head bone. Can you touch your head? Tap the top of your head. It's pretty hard in there. This is called your skull. What is inside of our skull that this hard head bone is keeping safe? It helps you think. It sends messages all around your body. It's your brain. So the skull is so important. It's like a house for your brain. The neck bone connected to the head bone. Or now we know we can call it a skull, our skull. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, oh bones, bones, bones. Look at all those skeletons. Let's count them. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Count on six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And look at them all playing music. And they're showing us all the different bones. The toe, the foot, the ankle, the leg or shin, our knees or kneecaps, our femur or thigh bone, our pelvis or hip bone, our spine, our back bone. And then we have our shoulder bones. We have our neck bone, and we have our head bone or skull. And here we see the whole skeleton. Look at that. The end. Take some time today and see if you can remember what the different bones and different parts of your body are called. I hope you enjoyed this story today, friends, and I hope you enjoy letting your bones dance and play today and keep them safe by watching where you're going. Happy reading and happy dancing. Bye.